Hello and welcome to this case report of a challenging transcatheter aortic valve implantation. We hereby present a 75-year-old gentleman with severe aortic stenosis referred to a TAVI. He has a history of previous coronary artery bypass graft surgery with a patent lima to LED graft. Echocardiography demonstrates mild to moderate LV dysfunction with a peak gradient of 73 mm mercury and an aortic valve area of 0.7 square centimeters. The heart team decided to perform TAVI by the transfemoral approach with femoral ECMO support due to the underlying ischemic heart disease. Here you can see a successful balloon valvuloplasty performed with only a mild degree of aortic regurgitation. The 29mm Edwards Sapien valve was deemed to be in a satisfactory position prior to deployment and a rapid ventricular pacing. However, after deployment and cessation of rapid pacing, it became evident that the valve was positioned too low below the annulus. Here you can actually see the valve migrating into the left ventricle. The balloon was then inflated below the deployed valve and an attempt was made to drag the valve through the left ventricular outflow tract. Unfortunately, this proved to be unsuccessful and the valve was stuck 5mm below the level of the annulus. These echoes demonstrate the sapien valve functioning below the native valve. During the attempt to drag the valve through the outflow tract, an aortic injury was suspected, as evident by the pericardial effusion seen on echo. In addition, the wire across the transfemoral valve was lost due to traction, and the valve is now lying free. At this stage, the decision was made to perform a left thoracotomy and implant a second valve through the transapical approach to treat the aortic stenosis and also seal the aortic injury. Here you can see the guide wire going across the original transfemoral valve and a catheter being inserted through the apex. The second transapical valve appeared to be in a good position before it was deployed. The patient was now on full ECMO support and the suspected pericardial effusion seen on echo was confirmed upon opening the pericardium. The patient was given cell saver washed red cells, pack cells and factor replacement. Unfortunately, after the deployment of the second valve, it became evident that it was positioned too high in relation to the annulus and there was significant aortic regurgitation with ongoing bleeding into the pericardial space. With great trepidation, a third 29mm sapien valve was implanted transapically and deployed below the second valve. This valve-in-valve -valve implantation was successful, achieving an improved seal around the annulus with less paravalvular regurgitation and reduced bleeding into the pericardial space, as seen on these echoes. Focus was now directed at removing the original deployed transfemoral valve and a pair of Robert's forceps was inserted into the left ventricle to retrieve this migrated valve. Bleeding was surgically controlled with tightening of purse string pledged sutures around the apex. The patient was then waned off ECMO support and transferred to ICU. Thank you for viewing this case report.